today we are on day number 11 of the little Pat McGrath lab series that I'm currently running here on my channel. If you're new to the series or new to my channel, this is essentially where I am creating a very simple everyday makeup look using one of my Pat McGrath labs motherships or other palettes that I own from her in my collection. There are 14 days in total in this little series and today we are up to the Bridgerton collection. So we are doing the Bridgerton Diamond of the First Water today. This is the first Bridgerton palette that she released. She has two. So this is the one that we are doing today. Hopefully this series has been interesting and helpful for you guys and uh, you want to see more. And if you do, let's go ahead and do the YouTube -y things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. Rare Beauty Eye Primer. And just quickly priming the lids. I just, I can't stop using this primer. I really can't. I really can't and I'm so close to I've nearly finished my NARS one and I am like I've made such a decent chunk out of my makeup by Mario Eye Primer but I just can't stop using this Rare Beauty to finish those. I'm going to a friend's farewell get together this afternoon so it is at like a bar um, but it is like mid afternoon so it's not I don't want to get like full glam because it's it's afternoon but I want to look nice and put together. This is what I'm wearing it's like a dress so that's that's the vibes for today. With Diamond of the First Water, one, I know that this is slightly controversial. Some people seem to think that this quality is really poor. I personally love the quality of this. I really, really do. The color story is not going to be for everyone. These pinks, I get it. Like, uh, Pat McGrath, sorry, I <laughs> went to say Natasha Denona. Um, Pat McGrath loves, bless her, you know I love her more than anything, but she has beaten the pinks to death, to death, and I think everyone's just kind of over it, especially them being so similar. Anyway. I digress. What I opened this to say was there's not a light enough transition shade in here for me, which you, you probably know already if you've been following along with this series. So I'm going to pick up my Refa number 16 brush and we're going to dip into subliminal because of course we are. How long do we reckon it will take me to finish this subliminal transition shade up completely, hey? <laughs> so I'm just going to slightly start by buffing this through the crease using side to side motions and then I'll just kind of squirrel it around to kind of buff it out and blend it and softly diffuse it. I don't want to go, I really don't actually want my eye makeup to be too, too dramatic. I don't want my makeup to be too dramatic at all today actually because I just really feel like feeling the soft, soft makeup vibes today. So we're going to leave the transition shade there for now and we're going to dip into this shade right here which I really like this shade. It's a beautiful little plum matte. Well not quite a plum matte. It's not quite fully plum. I'm going to take this on my What's Up Beauty R 103 brush and just ever so slightly deepen this up. Just ever so slightly. I don't want it to be a lot like I said. I'm also after my friends get together going to the movies to see Elvis the movie with on you know the new one with Austin Butler is his name, I think, and Baz Luhrmann. So I'm very, very excited. I love going to the movies. It's all about the popcorn for me. If I honestly couldn't get popcorn at the movies, I, I seriously wouldn't even bother going, I don't think. <laughs> but um, we're going after that. So I'm very excited. A little date night, I suppose. A very casual one. Usually I actually, like, I'll come home after my friends, um, after my friends get together and I'll literally wash all my makeup and everything off and... Um, I'll go to the movies in like sweats. I know I'm the worst, but it's just a little local movie theater. And honestly, because it's a late movie, we get out at like, I think we get out at like 10.30 or something. So I'm like, I don't want to have to come home and like take all my makeup off and everything. I just want it to be like easy breezy. So, and the movie's dark, like apart from when you line up to get the ticket and then, you know, you popcorn or whatever, like then the movie's dark and no one sees you. So who cares? <laughs> anyway, anyone else? Just me? No? Intensifies from Pat, naturally. Naturally, I'm gonna take this beautiful shadow right here. It is my favorite shadow in this palette. I absolutely adore it. We're gonna tap it on just softly. I'm not gonna build it up too intense. But seriously, it's gorgeous. It's such a gorgeous shadow. You could honestly put this on the lid as a one and done. You really could and it would look spectacular. If you want to use other shades in this palette but you're like how can I just do this and make it easy, honestly this one right here or this one, either both together or separately, you could pack these on the lid as one and done shadows and they would look insanely good. If you don't mind a little bit of this blue because honestly it does not translate this blue on the eye, you could throw your bronzer through the crease and then tap this all over the lid as like a kind of glossy eye effect. 
it would look really beautiful and very subtle. And that's all I'm doing for right here because... Easy Breezy, that's the name of these makeup games. Well, these makeup little inspo videos that I'm doing. You know what I mean? Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and speed through and do my base makeup like we've been doing every other day. We'll come back, finish off the eyes and lips together and then you guys will see the finished look. So let's do it. Face makeup is done. Let's take this shade from Subliminal on my Delium Tools 777 shader brush. I'm also just gonna take a touch of this matte right here on a really small pencil brush. And then just dipping into the champagne shade right here on a pencil brush and popping that lightly into the inner corner. Might just pop some on the brow bone as well. Mascara, I'm going to take uh, Pillow Talk and Lancome Lashy Doll mixed together. Eyes are completely done. Let's go on to lips. I'm going to take my favorite lip combo. This is the Pat McGrath Lip Liner in the shade Contour. And then Pat McGrath Labs Nude Romantique, the Satin Allure. Noise. And I'm just gonna go and fix my hair and then we'll zoom you guys back so you can see the finished look. This is the finished makeup look. What do we think? It's very soft, very easy, very simple. And I feel like it goes really well for the whole look, at least for me. And it's very, very, very me. If you're not new around here, you know this kind of look is, it's very, very me. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. So we only have Bridgerton 2, Belle of the Ball and Celestial Odyssey for the actual looks left. And then on the last day, the 14th day, I'm going to do kind of like a Pat McGrath brand overview of all those of the products that I own from her and what I think is worth it and what I think you could really skip or wait for a sale on. All of that jazz. So hopefully that sounds interesting. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this look down below. And uh, if you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. I truly appreciate you so, so much. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.